Assalamu alaikum friends welcome to SBI revision series for September 2021 and today we are going to cover IS10 events after the reporting period so what are we going to cover here and this is also a very short uh, standard and as you can see exam kit questions which you can do on IF, uh, IS10 is Zak and Meherin so for events after reporting period okay you have to see it is in which period events which occur after the year end but before the financial statements are approved okay after the report year end it could be after the year end but before the financial statements are approved not after the financial statements are approved after that you have to see these two things number one whether it gives new evidence on condition which existed at the year end that means condition existed at the year end and second okay so in that case sorry before we go to the second we have to adjust financial statements if it occurs right if there are any condition that existed at the year end adjust the financial statements it is an adjusting event there are two types of event one is adjusting one is non-adjusting so this one is adjusting now let us go to the non-adjusting event non-adjusting events gives new evidence on condition which didn't exist at the year end you come you came across a new information new evidence after the year end but at the year end during that year end, there were no such condition that you are going to get this new evidence this is known as non-adjusting event so for non-adjusting event what do you have to do you have to see two things one it impacts going concern assumptions even though you don't have any condition existed at the year end for that new evidence but it can impact your going concern assumption okay and the second type is where it's non-adjusting even it does not impact your going concern assumption then you have to disclose it you don't have to adjust the financial statements but you have to disclose it you have to disclose two things one is the nature the one the other one is the estimate of the financial effect of that new evidence but if it affects the going concern assumption remember then you have to adjust the financial statements even if it's a non-adjusting event even if the condition did not exist at the year end you have to adjust the financial statement and what are the adjusting events what are the non-adjusting events? that also you should be able to identify from the scenario given to you because in the exam they will not tell that this is an adjusting event this is a non-adjusting event they will give you any event it could be any event right a flood has occurred a fire has occurred which damaged your stocks anything could happen so you have to you have to know whether it is an adjusting or non-adjusting and if you're not sure sometimes what happens then i would say to go by your gut feeling whatever your gut feeling says that this is an adjusting or this is non-adjusting if you cannot remember okay of you or if you haven't gone through that in your list while you are studying adjusting and non-adjusting even then whatever your gut feeling says just go by that and based on that you can write adjusting event this and non-adjusting event do this but write something don't just uh, leave it unattempted so that's it for is 10 next we are going to cover is 12 deferred tax income tax and right the current tax and deferred tax thanks for watching and see you in the next video